Oh, hoo -hoo. this thing gets really warm, and it's kind of annoying to hold. Alright, guys, um, I thought I'd make a quick video here, um, showing off. Real quick, I just thought I'd show this as well, there's my... I still don't know what to do there. Uh, I kind of has to do with what I'm showing today. I'm just keeping that stuff down there. Uh, strategy guides are down here now. So. I had... Ah! Okay, I had chocolate milk earlier, so my voice is going... Going to be really bad in this video, so sorry about that. But today I thought I would show off the... HP... Pavilion. Or Pavilion. Whichever way you say it, I say Pavilion. Uh, because it's quicker. Um, and also, I know it says Pavilion, so here it is. Um, obviously this computer did not come with XP, it came out with the 98. Which I do still have the software disk for, which does include 98, so if I put this in now I would be able to reinstall it, but I did upgrade it to Windows XP Home. I have the professional background right now. Uh, make sure this. Off. Um. No. Um. Yeah, there's the. Uh, one right there. Oh. I have it on that. The, I put that on there from the latitude because I think it looks cool and it matches with it with the blue design. So. It is still home edition though, um, but yeah, and of course it's not running with the 64 mega RAM that comes with it. I upgraded to a 256 one stick. I plan to get uh, from the same guys. I plan to get a 128, so I can go up to a 392. Or is it 392? I I don't know. I don't know. Well, sorry about my voice. Um, and here's the setup. Uh, the computer here, which has not major discoloration. I'm gonna try to find. A way to fix that, at least up on the top here, that'd be nice. Would Retro Bright work for something like that or whatever the hell they call that thing? Um, here's my keyboard, it's a Microsoft uh, internet keyboard. So, a yeah, pretty cool keyboard, I like it, the sounds. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I have just an HP mouse here, a newer one. Uh, it's been so great. Look. Look at that. Uh, Altec Lansing speakers and a gateway monitor. Um, yeah, and it runs surprisingly well. I mean... Yep. I mean, what's that? Um, the hard drive, of course, is only a 15 gigabyte. I might have to find a way to upgrade that. And it's 13.9. So that's... Really not good. It does work with floppies. I do have some floppies, but it's kind of pointless because it's not DOS. So old software. Nah. Um, it's Service Pack Two. The that disk is Service Pack One, but I installed Service Pack Two so I could install uh, iTunes Six on there. Um, I have here installed uh, not many games because they just don't run well on here. I do have, um, however, installed. Civilization 2, Civilization 3, somewhere, Infograms, there you go, play the world, and I have Europe Universalis 2 and Hearts of Iron installed as well. Like I said, Half-Life, no, no, not a chance, Half-Life does not run on here. Not very well, at least, there's Photo Editor, which is not as great as I thought it was, um, just, it has a lot of has a lot of jaggies in it. it. I don't know if it's just because of the way it is, but it's it does not render the images the way it should. Um, in any modern sort of thing, just the default that comes with this is better. Um, but yeah, then I have uh, some old stuff here for the HP and everything, like the HP tools, Internet Connection Center, which there used to be a thing, and it came with like a MindSpring or whatever, all that old, uh, all the old internet uh, stuff, and yeah. Pretty cool. For some reason, I'm having a problem right now where every time I will mess with it, uh, it will say that the CD player is a new thing. I didn't even know that a CD player came with Windows XP. I thought they removed it. Um, but yeah, that's a thing. So, yep. I have Messenger installed on there because <laughs> it just because.
time's sake, it's uh, seven. I've shown before. There. Um, yeah, cool little computer. I use it for work stuff and hold on. It's done. Also, one thing to note about this is that videos, not a chance, dude. MP4s, good luck getting them to play, frankly. Good luck getting them to play. I am the god of hellfire, and I bring you, um, yeah, I can't show it right now, because it would take too long to do, but yeah, it does not, WMVs are the only way you're going to get video to play on this, WMVs work great though, I've showed it before, I've shown it before in videos, um, but yeah, it works fine, Doom stuff right there, Simpsons Doom, <laughs> got my music there, uh, you know, the classic, uh, stuff, War Putty right there, War Putty videos, which actually there's nothing in that right now. Uh, stuff for my camera, uh, the codes that I had from Microsoft, calling Microsoft, right there. Check out. Uh, there's something on here called Mikma is Earth, but I don't know. And, yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Can't show too much on here, because it's going to take forever to get everything set up. Uh, this The problem with this is that it's kind of hard. Like Actually, also another thing, Media Player Classic will play an ASF file with no problem. Also, um, yeah, to me also, though, desktops are the best way to go for computers uh, for multiple reasons. Whether it be that they don't come with internal microphones or they don't have, uh, you can, you can upgrade them easier. Uh, it's a lot easier to get into them. That's why I like them. And also just because it's cool to have one. But, yeah, on the latitude, um, real quick, just an update on that. I love that thing. Uh, I don't know if it's just a Windows feature or if it's just the fact that it's that laptop, but there's a feature in at least Windows XP for that laptop where you can close the lid and it won't actually do anything, so you can just have it be on one monitor and you can just have it like a desktop really, uh, and it, that is really cool. You could even just have it like down there and you could actually just have the DVD drive right there at your access, or at your fingertips, whatever you want to say. Uh, but yeah, that's a really cool feature. I wish that more laptops would do that kind of stuff. But yeah, I also did buy this. I didn't show it on video. I did buy a uh, reader here, which is, of course, it's just a little. Uh, this thing will come off. It's just a little USB to SD card thing, which I plug in there, and it works fine. Um, this thing does. It has USB 1.0, but it doesn't have problems. I plug in a 32 gigabyte flash drive to this, and it works fine. Uh, and of course some of my, and of course it works with larger SD cards as well, so I'm not sure how high this thing would go, but, yep. Um, which now makes my little, uh, my little adapter thing is almost worthless now. Uh, well, actually, I don't know. I don't think it's the same. Uh, there's micro SD. I'm not sure if it's the exact same kind of thing, but I, I think it is the exact same. Uh, things so that kind of makes it pointless, but yeah, you know, that is cool though to have. So, and I have also, uh, for anyone wondering, here, uh, media player on it is not, and I have not upgraded it. Um, I have not upgraded Internet Explorer or anything like that. I have uh, photo editor still. That's from my 97 Office 97 install back when I had the Windows 98. Then I have, I have, uh, wait. I have uh, Microsoft Office XP down there installed onto it. I also have a, not legally installed, <laughs> but I have 2003 right there. Um, because whenever, I actually, I used to own it legally uh, back, like way back in the day. But uh, yeah, I do plan on buying it. Again, it's just that uh, I'd rather not go through the activation crap again. So, yep, not trying to steal exactly. I don't like to pirate stuff. I don't know. I just don't. It's just, I don't know. And I, I, I like, because of course I'm a collector, so I like to have this stuff. Um, but sometimes, either there's stupid activation stuff like that, or just something else. Actually, a question here would be, of course it has SP3, so it would be as good. You could probably, like I said, how I installed it on there, it's just Windows XP, so I could probably install it on this thing uh, if I were to need to put a new hard drive in it or something, in case that one would die, which is always a possibility due to its age. 
even though it still runs fine in the hard drive, uh, works pretty well, and it's fast, so. Yeah, but if it were to die, I could replace it. It does use an IDE hard drive, not sad, uh, but, <laughs> um, if no one gets that, you're awesome. Uh, but yeah, it's not internet connected, I don't plan to, and this thing, actually, this thing, unless you were to buy something new, it does have the, the spot for it, you probably can't see it worth a damn down there, but, I'll turn this on so you can see. There is down there the spot for uh, installing an Ethernet thing, but it does not come with one. So, it's a bit of a shame, but. And one awesome thing I love about Windows XP here, and I'll, I'll show this to you guys, I used to have Revolutions Pack 9 for Windows 98 installed on this thing, so if you go to Windows Classic, it'll come up with all this stuff. But you can have this theme, which is the Windows Classic variant that comes like if you were to. Uh, use XP and have the XP theme on. If you went into safe mode, you'd get this theme. Which I think it looks cool, frankly. I think it looks really cool. I've always wondered how to get that theme, but now that I have that, you can. So, yeah, actually, there you go. I think it looks cool, and you can go into here. I think it's a cool theme, frankly. It looks kind of like the watercolor. Ever so slightly, it's in mix, basically, in my opinion. But, yeah, pretty cool. I do love the different, uh, like, this one here. I think olive green kind of looks ugly, but I guess it's cool. But the silver. To me, is awesome. So. I love Windows XP. I'm going to use it for as long as I can, because I really don't use computers connected to the internet anymore. If I want to look something up on the internet, it's on this thing now, so... Which is kind of unlike me, but I just don't use the internet anymore. Or that much anymore. But yeah, I guess I'll leave you guys off with that. Um, of course it's going to do this to me. Um, but yeah, that's a cool computer. Uh, and running XP works great. Actually, in reality, since this thing is still on the 500 megahertz, you'd be better off if you want to have a somewhat more modern uh you might want to try 2000 instead. Uh, that's just my recommendation. You might want to try 2000 instead unless you max out the RAM even then. Uh, you might get better performance on 2000, but I have it on XP due to it being my favorite operating system and I know how to use it. So uh, I've used XP basically exclusively since mm, 2015 <laughs> actually, and then of course before that. But yeah. So catch you guys later.